Hey guys, Thunderset here, and today I am doing a Mermail revisit. I've wanted to revisit this deck for a while. I've done it a few times, but we got even more water support that I really want to try out with these Mermails. And I mean, Territory of the Sharks is just so good for any water deck. Makes it really cool. Little combo I was interested in is Bahama Shark. Don't really get to use this card all too often. There's not many cards that can take advantage of it because once per turn, you detach an XC's material, special summon a rank three or lower water from your extra deck, and then he can't attack. So really, there's not too many level three water, say rank three water XC's who don't need material to have an effect, but we do have Mermail Abyss Strike. She is a level three XC. She can be special summoned by our Bahamut Shark, her first uh, effect, I think you do need to detach. When your opponent targets one mermail for an attack or a spell or trap, you detach and negate it. So that we wouldn't do unless we did it a manual XC summon. But when this card is destroyed, sent to the graveyard, you can target one mermail in your graveyard special or accept itself and special summon that target. So nice little comeback mechanic if you somehow need a bahamut shark over something like a hope woven dragon spider shark or maybe you lost them both who knows what's happened but uh other than that this boy's really waiting for some other rank three or lower water xc's to come be worth his combo because other than that you're really not using this boy all too too much but uh as for the other water monsters you know all about them especially abyss dweller with our boy infantry that's the wombo combo that makes these water decks very relevant then we have hope woven dragon spider shark and shark drake two very excellent boss monsters now to be as straightforward with the deck as possible abyssus will special summon and discard abyss pike you have to normal summon him or special summon him then he will discard so he discards the special summon he discards when he's special summon if that makes sense so these boys discard all these boys and girls want to be discarded she wants to be searched so once again they discard when he's discarded you get to target a face down when he's discarded you get to target a face up when she's discarded you special summon a mermail from the grave when she's discarded you special summon a mermail from your hand and then when she's added to your hand, which they both do after they discard, you get to just special summon her. So you have many ways to get bodies on the field. You hit them with the territory of the sharks. You have dynamic effects that are all used. These are all used by your abyss dweller, by your abyssus, and your abyss pike. So these Atlanteans are really just at home. I should probably do a pure Atlantean revisit. It is its own little archetype. And just to finish off, Treacherous Trap Hole because we'll have tons of bodies. And then Forbidden Lance because it works well with Treacherous. It works well with this deck when people are trying to pick off just your little monsters. You can Forbidden Lance them and then they're perfectly safe and you go on into the bigger monsters. Works out pretty cool. Mermails, uh, I don't know if they're the best way to run Territory of the Shark. I can't imagine they're that consistent and that the Mermail element is really adding much of anything at this point. But still, it's a nice, easy way to do it if you just came to Duel Links for the Mermails, which some people did back in the day, and uh, you have them laying around. You could still play a pretty relevant top-tier deck. So I hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching. All right, here is Seto Kaiba going second. 26 cards for a boy. He is using Ultimate Dragons. That's a back row. Then we have two Forbidden Lands. Abyssus is going to throw away this Hildy, who will special summon from our hand. When she's thrown away, we're going to search our Abyss Pike. Now we're going to special summon our Abyss Pike. When he's special summoned, it still triggers his effect. That's going to let us discard our Gundy. When Abyss Gundy is discarded, you get the special summon from the graveyard. Now our opponent is trying to stop this with a Treacherous Trap Hole. Unlucky for him, we top deck two Forbidden Lance. He's gonna be so mad because we're gonna save both of these monsters. It is unfortunate we have to lower their attacks because we do miss the lethal that way, but now the Abyss Gundy will special summon the Hild from the graveyard, or we could have special summoned this Abyss team by searching her 
from the hand. This way we get to keep the Abyss Team in the hand though. And we still get to make our Water Xyz. So, uh, not quite lethal, but with the normal summon of the Abyss Team, we are very lethal. So look at that feel, guys. So quick, over Treacherous, just took two Forbidden Lands. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Yami Yugi. But the, uh, or no, it's not Yami Yugi, it's Yujimono. Little Yug, look at that deck, guys. 35 cards in that deck. Are you kidding me? He's still over 30 cards with a full hand. We set our infantry, set a Forbidden Lance, we still have an Abyss Pike. We have a Gundy, but nothing she gets special summon from the graveyard, so we're not really gonna use her yet. We're gonna flip him up, normal summon our infantry, then normal summon our Gundy. Territory of the Sharks, all three. That's gonna be an Abyss Dweller. Now he's gonna try to get Floodgated. We're going to Forbidden Lance him. Now we got a double infantry Abyss Dweller. That's what it's all about. Now we are facing Exodia though, so he's gonna, who knows what he's gonna have in his deck. Starting with a Blue Dragon Summoner to search a piece. Tries to Draining Shield my Abyss Dweller. Remember, we just Forbidden Lanced him, so he should have just done it here, and he would have been fine, but he doesn't go like that. We could have used his effect to stop the Blue Dragon Search, too, but here we hit, hit with a Drowning Mirror Force, so we're in pretty much top deck mode. He's got four card hand, but it's Exodia, so what can he do beyond set? We got our Gundy back, that's perfect, because now we can throw her away. Actually, it's not perfect, because we don't have another Mermail in the graveyard, but we do search our Abyss team. Can use our last Territory of the Sharks for our Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark. See, so then, him versus Bahamut, he's just better. You'd have that Mermail, who could special summon a Mermail, but he could special summon a Mermail. And he's destroyed, he's 2600, like the Bahamut Shark but he has the better effect of lowering attack, which my boy is about to learn here. He's uh, guessing I can't use it when I'm attacked into. He must think I can only do it when I attack, but he's trying to kamikaze. We'll, we'll let him give us the Silent Waifu uh, cutscene, though. Here she comes, the big one. But like I said, you attack into him. Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark can still use his effect. It's going to lower that monster by 1,000. Hitting him for 100, and effectively winning the duel. Great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing a Yami Yugi. We're going second. 30 cards for our boy over there. So he is going first, so we can pop one of his set by throwing away the Marksman, bringing out the Abyssus. Also, be able to give us a search from the Abyssus. We aim for a back row. He's going to not chain the back rows and impenetrable attack. We normal summon the infantry. Normal summon another infantry. Territory of the Sharks. We go with the double infantry on a Bahamut Shark. So, generally, you're going to want to do it with Dweller. But uh, I'm trying to use this Bahamut Shark, really. So, we bring out our Abyss Trite. Nothing to pop. We swing over a Sheer New Smith. And we swing at him for 1600 with our Abyss Strike. Now he sets another back row, sets another monster. We get our last infantry, simply swing over the tuners and finish him off. So Bahamut Shark came out the winner there, but uh, nothing really Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark couldn't have done. Great, great stuff. Alright, here we are facing a Carly Carmine. Going first on a two-win streak. Well, that's all about to change. Now we have our Abyssus, we have our Abyssteen. You don't want her in your hand, so we're just gonna set her. And we don't want to use our infantry right now with Abyssus, because we want to use him to pop a monster. Now we did set a Treacherous. I was prepared to pop my own Abyssteen, but we're gonna see two monsters with his attempt to Synchro, and that's gonna cause us to Treacherous Trap Hole in both. Now when we do that to Fortune Lady Light, she's still going to get her special summon of water, but she doesn't get that plus two. So now, Abyssus throws away our infantry that's going to pop the face up. It's also going to give us a search once he special summons. We search our Abyss Pike. Flip up Abyss Dean. Now we go Territory of the Sharks. 
go right into a Bahamut shark. He's gonna pop out. I didn't know he had a, a saying for Bahamut shark. Now he... Uh, Karma cuts are Bahamut shark. We don't get to bring out our mermail girl. We do throw away an Abyssus with our Abyss Pike. We search Abyss Hilda who will special summon from our grave, or sorry, from our hand when she's discarded. So, uh, should have got Grundy. If we got Grundy before, we could have discarded the Grundy. Here we got a special summon the Grundy from our hand. Then we go with the Xyz into the Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark. And it's still enough damage for lethal. So there's so many ways we could have got bodies on the field there. And they just couldn't stop us. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Jack Atlas. Going second. Looks like 30 cards for 32 cards for a boy. That's a lot of cards in the deck. We got Treacherous Trap Hole. He's going to pass. Forbidden Lance, Treacherous, and Abyssine. So it's a really bad hand. These are cards that want to be discarded. This is a card that wants to be searched. But we have nothing to do the searching or the discarding. So we peck at him for a K. That brings out a Parry Knight. We wait till the battle phase. Use our Treacherous on both our monster and his monster. And then it's our turn. Once again, we get another Forbidden Lance, so we're really not getting lucky with these hands. Two Forbidden Lance and a Treacherous to protect us with just tiny, tiny little monsters. Now he's trying to go Snipe Hunter. He's got to get hit with a Forbidden Lance, just like it was a trap. And it was more than enough to finish him. He didn't want to use any sniping into that back row. Really should have, because obviously he wasn't in a position to survive a turn beyond, but uh, I am in Platinum tumbling the ranks so I could do mean mate at a very low rank and do very very mean decks. But uh, Mermails guys, the Bahamut Shark, I don't think it's worth running the Mermails just for that Mermail special summon because it's like Hope Woven Dragon Spider Shark can do that. He can already do that special summon and then it's a way better monster, he's the same amount to make it. it if he was able to attack, if Bahamut Shark was able to attack the turn he does that special summon, it would totally be worth it, but he's not, so it's not, so maybe Mermails are just a lesser territory of the shark, but if that's what you, all you got, then by all means use it. So I hope you guys enjoy, and thanks for watching.